All right, welcome back to Friday Was Yesterday. I'm here at the Summer Jam Skate 2021 in Redlands, California, brought to you by the Avenue Skate Shop and Core Skate Shop, both local San Bernardino skate shops that are supplying these youthful kids with all these badass boards and all these badass everything that they have right here. So shout out to them. And I'm here with one of the, the, the vendors and local artists I just found out. You know, I'm just walking around getting to see, meet everyone. You know, this is a live broadcast, so there's not going to be no edits. So it's going to be all just raw stuff. So this is one of the artists we have right here. And what was your name, sir? My name is uh, Jeffrey Roberts, a.k.a. DJ Glam from uh, Sticks and Stones. That's the company. Okay. Uh, Hell yeah. And what you got What you got here today for us? What you got out here? Today Today we have uh, some, some art, some personal art canvases that I've painted. And we also have some uh, T-shirts and graphic designs that I uh, printed as well. Okay. And then along with that, we have uh, some shoes. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Shoes as well for sale. Um, Nikes only. Nikes <laughs> only. You feel me? So uh, come on down. You know, we're, we're over here. You know what I mean? Out here doing something for the community. And, um, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. And I noticed you got some badass Air Maxes right there. So you mentioned the shoes. Make sure you guys follow him because he has some badass shoes here that I was, I was peeking out. And his art is really sick. It looks pretty badass. I love that shit. And what, what what type of shoes can you get? I know you mentioned Nikes. Is it Air Maxes like that or all kinds of... Well, all kinds? Well, with the shoes, uh, the, sho- the deal with the shoes is that usually I buy them from resellers okay. if, if I'm not lucky enough to get them off the app. Okay. So the, the idea about it is that I only buy specific ones in colorways that I like. Okay. I, I stick to the Dunks. I stick to the Air Max 90s. Okay. And some Jordans. And okay. that... Other than that, everything else, nah. Maybe some blazers, but that's about it. You know. What I mean? All right. And how long have you been doing that kind of stuff? Um. Well, well, COVID kind of actually. Ooh. From COVID, that's when I actually sat down and was like, okay, let me get another side hustle underneath my belt. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I went and I just started reselling shoes. I started, you know, buying, reselling, restoring, reselling, and you know, okay. went from there. All right. Hell yeah. And. And that's something really badass because I'm, I'm really into shoes too. So it's really cool to see these, these different styles. I haven't, I haven't seen these Air Maxes in a while. I love that colorway, yeah. that orange. Yeah. And then and let's go to the another thing. So you, you mentioned you have some art out here. So how long have you been an artist? A, oh, a visual okay. artist like that where you're okay. canvas painting and all that, and okay. that fun well, stuff. See, the, the, art, the art I actually got into because I, I was a graffiti writer. Okay. You know what I mean? And yes. so from the graffiti writing and from the graffiti, you know what I mean? Like I would, I would be on the side of the freeways. I would be like at yards and stuff like that and it started getting me into trouble you know what i mean getting yeah. caught or just other side bullshit that would just get me caught you know mm-hmm. or into trouble so <laughs> i started seeing myself ending up you know catching a few cases from that so then i started with the, the canvas work and i was always drawing from a young kid so then i just kind of pursued that a little bit more and it wasn't until a few years ago when i started the company that it was a uh, uh, ex a girlfriend of mine actually uh zerk told me she said why don't you why don't you put your canvas work on a t-shirt and sell that t-shirt so you can sell you know multiple t-shirts opposed to just selling one canvas you know and yeah. that's when the light bulb went off that's when you know i that's when i started thinking okay you know what maybe i could take this serious and start pursuing it you know and yeah. so here we are today you know years later hell yeah that's that's cool as fuck and you know and and a lot of people know this about Samarin, you know, we, we're such a melting pot of artists like, like him right now. A lot of people start off with graffiti. A lot of us are familiar with all the the, the graph scene going on around here. So it's really it's really wonderful to see them make see artists make that transition into these canvas paintings because now you guys can can uh, do it in a way where not only is it good for you, but it's it helps everyone else. You know, the artists, people that like, love art, that want that art, that want those shirts because. I'm pretty sure if someone sees that thing, but oh man, it'd be a badass on a shirt, right? And that's how it started, right? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And, and how long have you been doing that? How many years? Um. Well. Just the, in general, art, art the, in general, art in general, from when I was a kid. But the oh, company, damn. the company, maybe like 2012. You okay. know what I mean? And okay. I, I started off by just putting stickers off in, in, you know, in in the IE actually, and then I started traveling out to LA. And I started putting stickers, and all it was was just my logo, a diamond with the with the crossbones underneath it. Okay. And from there, people started asking me, what's the name of it? Yeah. What's the name of your brand? You know, because at first I didn't have a name. It was just a logo that I was putting up. Mm-hmm. And it took me a while to think, you know, and I, I ended up coming up with Sticks and Stones. Yeah. And the reason I came up with Sticks and Stones was because I would think, you know, it's from the ground up. You know, it's a timeless, it's a timeless looking logo. When you see it, you're not going to forget it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, so... 
that's just how I, I thought about it. You know what I mean? I just kind of went from there and just ran with it. it pushed it. Yep. Pushed it all on, your, on yeah. your own, right? Yeah. Word of mouth and all that stuff work, works really well, you know? Oh, yeah. And it's oh, something yeah. cool, especially when you're passionate about it. You know, you meet people like how I met you. Like, you know, you, you, you guys actually spoke to me. So yeah. it was cool that, that you guys kind of kind of initiated it. So I was really like, these guys are cool as fuck, you know? And, and, and the art stuff. I love the art stuff. Uh, and and you were out here to the, at the skateboarding thing. Do you skateboard also? No, actually, no? actually, no. I uh, I missed that part of my life when I was younger because uh, <laughs> you know what it was was uh, I was into video games. Oh, okay. you know, I was a video game nerd, and actually, video games and WWF. <laughs> I'll narrow it down. You know what I mean? Wait, he like, said WWF. So yeah, if you don't know what that is, yeah. Google that. That that's, that's how long ago this was. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, from there, you'll know my age. You know what I mean? But. It was Stone it, cold, baby. Yeah, it was that, you know what I mean? And then as I got older, I would see the kids skating and stuff, and people skating, all my friends and stuff, but yeah. I never pursued it. Um, I ended up going towards graffiti and okay. started doing that. I mean, I got familiar on a BMX bike. I ride BMX bikes, and so now I restore them and, and sell them. Yeah, you mentioned that also. So, so what's up with that? So how'd you get into that kind of deal? Um, that was just finding bikes from people that were getting rid of them, and you know what I mean? I said, hey, this is still good. It just needs some love, you know what I mean? And that's how we went about that you know what i mean we just oh, yeah. started restoring from oh, yeah and, and if, if you're listening i'm, I'm wearing my bike club shirt mm-hmm. I, i'm big into biking too mm-hmm. so so that's that's really wonderful to hear uh, uh i don't know if you ever heard of this bike club empire bike club shout out to them they're based in rialto you know a lot of our, our guys ride bmx bikes so that's cool as hell and then, do you work on bikes also do you like tune them up uh, and all that yeah good stuff? yeah i know okay. the basics of it okay I, i'm i'm barely i'm barely getting into it you know what okay. i mean but um I'm learning the basics and it's been pretty fun you know what i mean for the most part it's been it's been great you yeah know what fuck I mean? yeah um, biking's yeah. great bmx yeah. biking all yeah. cycling's fun yeah. i um uh, i started because i wanted to work on my cardio you know what i mean yeah. to try to get fit because if you if you if you smoke often then you know what i mean <laughs> you're gonna want to eat a little bit yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it all adds up yeah <laughs> That's cool. So if you guys ever want to ride out with us, you know, you're always welcome to follow oh. us on Instagram too, Empire most, Bike Club. Most definitely. And you know, uh, you know, a lot of the guys are into shoes and lo- into the fashion stuff and the art stuff. So that's it's, it's a it's a beautiful thing that it all comes full circle. Um, so thank you for uh, thanks for. In, uh, sorry, you guys. I'm kind of high right now too. You're pretty stoned right now too. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. So sorry. It's good to, to interview. you. Sorry yeah. again. What was your name? Let everybody know where to find you. My name is Jeffrey Roberts. I'm uh, DJ Glam. And the company is Sticks and Stones. We're based out of Fontana. Check us out on Instagram, on YouTube. Um, yeah, check us out. All right, hell yeah. All right, thank you, sir. All right, I'm gonna keep walking around, see who we can talk to, see who's out here. See if we can talk to some of these skateboarders. What's going on? What's up, brother? Mason, he's a music producer. Which, which, one's, which guy's red. Mason? In the red. In the red? Yeah, All right. the music producer. Okay, hell yeah. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, welcome back to Friday Was Yesterday. I'm here at the 